hello, and welcome to the 86th Street Performing Arts Center. Yulika, the ukulele, and I, Carmelita, are very glad that you have joined us today. Now, I do have Yulika, but Yulika is not going to be used today. I'm actually not singing in this video. I want to just talk a little bit. Um, there are five Fridays in April, and it is April, by the way. Happy April, yay! <laughs> there are five Fridays in April, so I decided to take one of those Fridays and just chat a little bit. Uh, the following four Fridays, um, well, let me not say Fridays, because <laughs> I'm actually running a little bit behind, but I will indeed have four songs for you uh, later this month. They will all be sacred because I am celebrating Easter. So the first two songs this month will be um, a little more somber uh, to reflect that we're still in Lent and then also for Good Friday. And then the last two songs will be to reflect that it's Easter and Jesus is alive. So there will be four sacred songs this month. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how the 86th Street Performing Arts Center came to be. The last time that there was, uh, that there were five Fridays in a month, I talked about how I came to play the ukulele. So, this time, I'm going to talk about this channel. Now, we all know what happened in 2020. Ugh. Well, and maybe some of you have heard this story, but uh, at the beginning of 2020, before everything was closed down, I had decided that I was going to perform 20 times in 2020. Uh, before that, I uh, wasn't doing a lot of performing. I wasn't focusing so much on performing uh, because I was doing more teaching. And I was not doing as much teaching in 2020, so I thought, well, this is a good time to try to ramp up on the performing. So I was going to do a recital. I was cast in a, in a um, operetta. I was going to audition for things, and I had auditions lined up, and... <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, and I had performances lined up and I was well on my way to reaching that goal. And then you know what happened. Everything was shut down. Everything that I did stopped, literally. So I had to find new things to do. So that also meant that I had to find a new way to reach my goal of singing 20 times in 2020. And uh, I talked it over with my sister. I, the idea to, uh, to do a YouTube channel came to, came to mind because it would be an outlet to sing, which I, I need to sing. <laughs> I just... I, do you have anything in your life that you absolutely must do that you can't imagine your life without? Singing is like that for me. I've been singing for as long as I can remember, but I digress. So um, I needed an outlet to sing, and I thought, well, I could start a YouTube channel. I could, and I could sing. And what would I call my YouTube channel? Well, I thought it would be a fun idea to call my house a performing arts center. <laughs> I thought it would be a great idea to perform in my living room, and then my house would be a performing arts center. And so I live on 86th Street, and so that's where I got the name, the 86th Street Performing Arts Center. And I, I think the first one that I did was in June of 2020. 
and I did June, July, August, September, October, and November. I took December off. And then for 2021, I did January through November, took December off. And here I am again in 2022. Oh, there's more to the story in 2020. I told you I had the goal to uh, perform 20 times in 2020. And uh, of course, starting the YouTube channel was uh, part of helping me to reach that goal. And then I also did uh, competitions, virtual competitions. I did virtual church services. Um, I did an in, in-person, in I did some in-person things. I uh, sang at Berean Baptist I in Burnsville, Minnesota. I sang at uh, a faith temple church in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And by the time all was said and done, I sang 35 times in 2020. And so that was really exciting. <laughs> and so for 2021, I decided I was gonna reach for 40 times. And I surpassed that goal as well. And I have 40 times again for a goal this year, but included in that 40 times, I want at least 10 times to be uh, paid gigs. So we'll see what happens there. I'm actually well on my way uh, toward that happening as well. So uh, that's what's going on with the 86th Street Performing Arts Center and that's how it came to be. And um, I can't think of anything else to say right now, but I just wanted to chat with you a little bit. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you again later this month with songs uh, in April celebrating Easter, Lent and Easter. So I will see you next time at the 86th Street Performing Arts Center. Thanks. Bye.